Margot Lane. And I'm Bob Spicer, and this is your Lake of the Ozarks news update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com and sponsored by hy V and YC Power Sports. Today we're going to talk about a highly debated solution for Camden County Roads. What a new city ordinance means for roosters in Camdenton. And a memorial project funded mostly by donation with one problem, a lack of donations. Plus hot summer nights on a Lake TV unveiling, and we'll be back with all that and more after a word from hy V in Osage Beach. Summer nights lived up to its name over the weekend, but the weather didn't seem to deter the turnout on the Bagnell Dam Strip in Lake Ozark for rats, rods, and street machines. That was the theme of the July hot summer nights. Some rats, some rods, and lots of classic street machines everywhere. And there were a surprising number of custom trucks on hand, like this one. Tell me about this beautiful truck. What year is it? Uh, 1954. 54. Yeah, I took three old junk trucks and made one. How long did it take you to put them back together? About nine years working on it. <laughs> nine. In spare time, you no know. No kidding, yeah. Yeah. Any idea how much you spent overall putting uh, it back together? I got a box full of receipts and I'm afraid to add them up. Charcoal Chuck offered free portraits to the little kids and the painted face lady was busy as the family looked on. And as we wandered the strip, checking out the cars and trucks, who do we run into but these guys? Okay, with you. This is my buddy Louie. He's just <laughs> hanging out down here at the uh, hot summer nights, Bad having a blast. Guys. But uh, these cars are awesome down here. I've never seen anything like. Never it. been here before. Never before. Oh man. Never been here before at all. I've been on the lake before, but never on this. This is incredible. If you missed hot summer nights this time out, well, you'll just have to wait for the next one, and that's in August. Bob Spicer for Lake TV. Summer is in full swing and it's the perfect time to check out one of the local farmers markets. There are plenty to choose from. The Eldon Market is on Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. at Rock Island Park. On Saturday morning you can check out the Osage Beach Farmers Market at the main entrance to the Outlet Mall from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Saturday you can also shop at the Camdenton Farmers Market on the square from 7 a.m. to noon. Camden County Museum is hosting a swap meet Friday and Saturday 9 to 4 located in Lynn Creek of course and they are offering free museum tours, all kinds of merchandise, lunch too and I'll probably be there. The Royal Theater in Versailles is putting on their musical review this weekend. Shows are Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m. They're performing favorite songs from the past shows including Annie, Wizard of Oz and White Christmas. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for the kiddos. The lake's largest family boating event is Saturday at Dog Day's Restaurant. Main festivities run from 12 to 5, but there will be live music and activities all evening as well. The music lineup includes Members Only, State Line Drive, The Mixtapes, and Seven Bridges Road. Check it all out and on Jeffrey's Road or from the water at the 19-mile marker. Dave Bennett and the All-Stars will be performing at Osage National Golf Resort on Sunday. It's part of the Ozarks Jazz Society's monthly concert series. You can get dinner at 5 p.m. and the show starts at 6.30 p.m. Tickets are $10 for members, $12.50 for non-members, and $16 for the dinner buffet. Well, that's just some of what's happening at the lake this weekend. Go to lakeexpo.com for a complete list of events. Coming up, despite lacking funds, Camden moves forward with Memorial and what's in store for Camden County Roads. Plus, Lake TV goes kayaking and Lake TV's William Holtz with some pretty exciting news about Lake TV's future. Find out after a word from YC Power Sports. On the road, on the trail, or on the water, if you're looking for heart-pounding performance and fun, head for YC Power Sports in Osage Beach. The biggest and best brand names in the field, along with incredible selection and unrivaled service. Make this year at the lake the best it can be, with a visit to our showroom in Osage Beach and coming soon, our new relocated showroom in Columbia. Take a look at ycpowersports.com, too. Summer fun is just waiting for you at YC Power Sports in Osage Beach and Columbia. There's something about kayaking on Lake of the Ozarks. 
It's sort of like cross-country snow skiing. It's you, it's the paddle, it's the kayak, it's the serenity, it's the peacefulness. And every second Saturday through September, you can meet up with other kayakers down at the Ha Ha Tonka State Park for the kayak meetup. There are plenty of volunteers to help you get fitted up with a life vest and instructors to help get you into your kayak. Loa, the Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance, is very much a part of this event. And project manager Amanda Laporte was on hand to represent the organization. LOA is a proactive citizen-based group that works to keep our healthy lake healthy. We test the water, we do it through six elements, and those are recycling, and water quality monitoring, and lake safety, wastewater, and the LOA Lills. Sorry. And I uh, understand you guys are possibly getting another grant or a grant? We've got a couple of grants that we're gonna, that are coming up. Tell us about them. One of them is for people who have septic systems to need help, financial help, pumping them out, making mm. sure they're maintained yeah. properly. We can help with that. And the other one is what we call the lower wills, which is low impact landscaping. One of the biggest problems at the Lake of the Ozarks is runoff. And so we work with the master naturalist and others to make sure you have a landscape and native plants and that kind of thing that look nice, but keep that runoff from going into the lake as much as possible. And we can help you financially set some of that landscaping up on your yard. How does one uh, uh, contact you for something like that? You can contact me at lowatershed.org or at 573-723-0637. In case you're wondering where the kayaks come from for the kayak meetup, they're provided by this guy. River Jim, what are you doing out here today? I brought a load of kayaks for everybody to try out. Tell me the difference between a sit-in and a sit-on-top. Uh, sit-in, you sit inside, to sit-on, you sit on top. Simple enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's all different in-betweens. You know, so. What do you think about these paddle boards? Uh, they seem to be really catching on. Yeah, yeah. I, I sell a few. I'm old, I couldn't get up on it. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Bob Spicer, Lake TV. Hey guys, I'm Lake TV General Manager William Holtz and we've got some exciting news. Uh, first, after eight years of using this logo you see, we're getting ready to launch a new one. We've been working with Jeff Carroll and Brandon Barnett over at Facelift Marketing Design and we've been working six months and we've come up with an incredible new logo. But before I unveil that, uh, I got a couple of their pieces of news to share. We have opened a second location in Lori. Really excited about that. That's where we hold our board meetings, which is our next piece of news. We have a very distinguished distinguished seven-member board of advisors that meets once a month to review the fiscal month, talk about potentially uh, big things, also vote on anything that would need a vote, uh, vote, and they also serve as a sounding board for the Lake TV management team. Uh, our team is growing. We hired Ashley Davis, three-time award-winning video producer and editor, and she's been doing a great job. We uh, brought on Bob Shorts as our director of public relations, and him and Bob Spicer were great together, and they bring over 70 years of combined uh, media experience to the table. And then also Margo Lane, our newest uh, news anchor, as you guys see, doing a real nice job. And we're getting ready to bring on an intern, so we're very excited about that. Lake TV is also making the jump to HD. Now we're currently getting through our last couple of hoops, and we'll be streaming HD on the Como Network no later than August 1st. And we want to give a huge shout out to Jim Petropolis with Como for all he's done to make this monumental leap for Lake TV even possible. We're also excited to be taking Lake TV out of the lake area. We're going to be broadcasting in the following markets starting in 2017. Quincy, Illinois, Fulton, Missouri, Rolla, Fort Leonard Wood, as well as numerous other surrounding communities. And we want to showcase lake attractions, events, nature and businesses, and all of those new markets. We want to bring people to the number one recreational lake in the country. Also excited to say we've got a new website. Very, very user-friendly. Ashley, tap that if you would. Very, very user-friendly. It's uh, mobile-friendly as well. All you got to do is uh, wait till August 1st, and we're using Keith Lucas over at MSW Interactive Designs, and uh, I think you guys are going to like what we've came up with. And uh, now, we do have probably 50,000 other pieces of advice that we'd like to tell you, but for time's sake, we're just going to cut there. I'm going to show you guys the new logo. So, I guess drum roll, 
Let's just go ahead and take this off. And this right here, guys, is our newest logo brought to you by Facelift Marketing and Design. Check that baby out. We're super excited uh, about that. It's absolutely wonderful. And uh, we need your guys' help getting the word out of all the great things taking place here at Lake TV and showcasing the new logo. So we're going to do something for you. All I need you guys to do is go to our Facebook page. Now, if you're watching on Facebook, you're already there. But you've got to like this post, comment on the video, and you got to tag three of your closest friends, and then share it to your personal page. Next Monday during the news update, we're going to do the drawing, and you've got five chances to win. We have a $50 gift certificate to JJ at the Copper Pot over in Lori. We're going to give away two $25 gift certificates to Chances Are Bar and Grill, and then also two $20 gift certificates to JJ Twigs Pizza and Barbecue. So five chances to win. Go ahead and do those things. You can enter the contest. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into Lake TV. Uh, uh, Bob, Margo, back to you guys in the new studio. What's been happening at the lake? Well, here's a look at some of the big stories from the lake last week. More paved roads could be in the future for Camden County if a plan from the County Commission comes through. Presiding Commissioner Greg Hasty recently proposed the county create a special road district. Plan comes at a time when the current road budget cannot afford to maintain all of its paved roads. And if the county continues with this budget, Hasty believes residents will see some blacktop roads return to dirt or gravel. Commissioner Bev Thomas agreed that if it was worth looking into and the county is investigating how the new road district could be created. Second District Commissioner Cliff Luber disagrees with that plan, however, saying the Road and Bridges Department isn't using resources efficiently. He wants to get more from that department before asking to increase taxes. Taxpayers would have to approve the creation of the special district and vote individually on any proposed taxes. Camdenton is cracking down on roosters in the city, even though no one has complained. Aldermen voted 4-2 to two to prohibit roosters inside the city limits, although the ordinance has changed since it was first presented on June 21st. The new version says that any rooster currently in the city can stay until its natural end. It also says that any roosters not grandfathered in must be kept at least 400 feet from adjoining property lines. Sandy Osborne and Jerry Rector felt the new rule was unnecessary because current ordinances protect citizens against noise nuisances. The city of Camdenton is having trouble paying for a monument to veterans after fundraising efforts fell short of their goal. In 2015, the board approved budgeting $10,000 toward the memorial, but the design they chose cost more than $37,000. And while the city campaigned to gather funding, only $386,000 has been donated. The board will go to unanimously last week to proceed with the monument, hoping that the September air show and groundbreaking ceremony will bring in additional donations. A Sunrise Beach woman was killed in an early morning crash on July 8th. According to the Missouri State Highway Patrol, 29-year-old Jamie Dever was driving south on Highway 5 when she crossed the center line and crashed into a northbound garbage collection truck driven by James Fillinger. Fillinger tried to avoid the collision. After hitting her car, the truck crashed off the side of the road. The highway was shut down for several hours as emergency personnel responded. Dever was not wearing her seatbelt and died in the crash. Fillinger was taken to Lake Regional Hospital with minor injuries. A home that drew the curiosity and concern of thousands when it began to slide toward the Lake of the Ozarks has now been demolished. The home on Cub Cove Road came into the public eye when a sudden landslide back on December 21st last year moved it several feet closer to the lake. It broke loose utilities, connections, made the home a total loss. Geologists and engineers worked to stop the home slide, but a few days later, heavy rain and catastrophic flooding around the lake kept the home slowly moving toward the water. And this week, crews finally demolished the house, hauled it away in dumpsters, while booms still sat just offshore, preventing debris from making its way into Cub Cove. The Department of Conservation is updating area management plans and wants to know how important conservation areas are to you. Draft versions of plans for Big Tavern Creek accesses and Lower Osage River accesses are only for public review until July 31st. If you'd like to comment on the plans, go to the MDC website. The documents include plans for Bochum Bridge access, Bagnell Dam access, and Osage Tavern access. Chief Bagnell, remember him, the big guy, the icon that stood at the Bagnell Dam Strip for decades? Well, he's in the middle of a facelift and the results are looking pretty good. Iguana purchased the statue and removed him earlier this year for refurbishing. The chief is being restored by American Giants. That's a company that specialized in repairing similar giant men that were built around the country in the 60s and 70s. And on their website at usagiants.com, you can catch the videos of them restoring these national icons. Iguana plans to reinstall Chief Bagnell on his new stomping grounds at the north end of the Strip, just in front of the dam. That'll happen probably sometime this summer. 
I'm Margo Lane, and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks News Update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90, Charter Channel 197, and watch anytime on MyLakeTV.com. And remember to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at MyLakeTV, and you can check out our Instagram page at handle my underscore Lake TV. And for Margo and the entire news team, here at the Lake TV News Studio, <laughs> I'm Bob Spicer. Remember, it's the Democrat Party, not the Democratic Party. Have a great day.